So we've created a handy tool for you on our website to help you design a system just for your home. So if you go back to the, our website, geniushub.co.uk, along the top you, click, you uh, hover over your home and then click on create your system. This will show you a handy little tool that we've developed for our customers and also our installers so they can see exactly what they need for their property. So if I just click on no underneath boiler and then click on yes again, that restarts it. And this is for a combination boiler. On the left here, we can see what that's putting into my shopping cart. So it's putting a genius hub and a single channel receiver. If you remember back to the schematic that I showed you, that's this schematic here. So we've got a combination boiler. This is the type of boiler where you turn on the tap and the boiler fires up. So the single channel receiver will turn the boiler on whenever there's a call for heat for your radiators. Very simple setup to start with. If I go back to the create your system, if I add here your hot water on off, that means now I've got a stored hot water tank and you can see that on the left here in my shopping cart is now changed to one dual channel receiver. So if I show you the equivalent schematic of this, that's the dual channel receiver there on the left, number one, and that's controlling my system or my heat only boiler and it's also controlling my hot water tank as well. If I want to be able to see the temperature of my hot water with the Genius Hub, then I need to click on the hot water temperature here. This now adds an electric switch. You can see that's added to the order there on the top left hand side of the screen. This is now mimicking this third schematic I showed you, where you get the dual channel receiver to control the two zone valves, the heating and hot water zone valves, but you also get an additional electric switch which can measure the temperature of the hot water tank and also can act as a backup control for your electric immersion heater. So I'm going to start off with all of that kit and then I'm going to choose next because I also want to control some radiators. Most people who purchase a Genius Hub buy the Genius Hub because they want to have a zoned control of every single room. Now that's very easy to do with the Genius Hub. So if I just expand my shopping cart again, I can see that I've got my uh, Genius Hub, my dual channel receiver to control my heating and hot water, and also my time and temperature add-on because I wanted to see the temperature of my hot water tank. Now I need to start adding some rooms to my system, and I can do that simply on the right-hand side here. There's a green um, circle with a plus in it. If I click on that, I can start adding some rooms. So I'm going to add some radiator rooms to start with. So let's click on the first radiator there on the left. Okay, the first thing the Creative System is going to tell me is that Genius Hub can actually color match my radiator valves. So if you have some really smart radiators, uh, cast iron radiators for example, or you've got designer radiators, you might want to color match your radiator valves to the color of the radiator. Something easy to do and we're just telling you there how to, how to add that. So I'm going to choose got it. Okay, if I click on done now down the bottom, I can see that I've created my first room. It's put in a white standard radiator valve because I don't want to color them necessarily th at this point. Now I can name the room here. So I'm going to put the first name of my room as kitchen. The reason why we ask you to name your rooms is because actually one of the things that makes the Genius Hub uh, design different is that when we ship the kit to you, so when you ar arrives in your home or when it arrives with your installer, everything is pre-labeled, pre-assigned, and the app is pre-built as well. That means essentially it really is a plug and play solution for you. We'll get all the, all the configuration correct for you, so the first time you load the app, everything will already be there for you. This saves a lot of time on site, so you're not having to waste time trying to connect all the devices yourself, and also it means that from an installer's perspective, they can install it knowing that they've got the right kit in every room and it's going to work straight away. So let's add another room. So I'm going to click on the white plus there. I'm going to click on radiator again, and then choose done. And this second room, I'm going to call my living room. Okay, so I've got my living room there. Now my living room has two radiators, let's say. So if I click on the plus symbol there, next to my um, the radiator there, that's now added two. So you can see on the left-hand side with my order, I've now got three Genius radiator valves, one in my kitchen, two in my living room. Click on the plus now again, and now click on another radiator. Now it's warning me that because I've got a larger house than, than, than some, I've obviously got more rooms, therefore I might need something to boost the signal. 
So we use the smart plugs to boost the signal, and this is uh, in a system called a self-healing mesh network. This makes the Genius Hub one of the most reliable systems on the market because this self-healing mesh network allows all of the kit to talk together, and every time you add one of these smart plugs, you're essentially boosting the signal around the home. If you've got a radiator valve, which is a long way from the Genius Hub, it might be say three or four rooms away from the Genius Hub, some systems would maybe struggle, not a problem for the Genius Hub because you put a smart plug in one of the rooms in between and that means the radiator valve can talk to the nearest smart plug and then the smart plug in turn talks to the Genius Hub. One of the great things about smart plugs is you can also turn them on and off on the app. So they have a dual function, boosting the signal and also you can turn things on and off. So if you plug a lamp into them for example, you could turn your lamp on and off as well. So I'm going to say yes here, I want the, the uh, Create Your System to choose how many smart plugs which is right for my home. Okay, click on Done now, and I can now add my next room. So I'm going to add one of my upstairs rooms, which is called Bedroom. I've got two bedrooms upstairs. So I've got Bedroom 1, and then I'm going to click on the plus symbol again. Click on Radiator, click on Done. And this one I'm going to call Master Bedroom. Okay. Then I've got a third room upstairs, which is actually my bathroom, my ensuite bathroom. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol there. I'm going to click on Radiator and then click on Done. And then I'm going to choose my ensuite. So I've got all my uh, bedrooms up, my two bedrooms upstairs, and my ensuite bathroom there. So that gives me control of every single uh, radiator in my home, for example. Okay, order is there all sorted on the left hand side. Everything is all named, which means that when I receive the kit, it will all work straight out of the box. One of the things that makes the Genius Hub system different from many of the others on the system is its occupancy detection. So the Genius Hub has a self-learned schedule where the system will learn when the rooms are being used and it will optimize your heating all the time so you're saving the most amount of energy. That's one of the really neat features and a lot of customers seem to like that about the Genius Hub. So if I want to add these occupancy sensors, I can click on the little pencil symbol there in the bottom right of the kitchen and then I can choose Genius Room Sensor and then choose confirm. This has added a little room sensor into that room, which means that when I use my kitchen, the heating will turn on and it will learn when I use the kitchen. Likewise, when I leave the kitchen, it will also allow the kitchen to cool down to a cooler temperature. That's probably a useful thing also to have in my living room. So I'm gonna add one with a little pencil into my living room, choose confirm. And again, I'm gonna add one into my master bedroom. So I click on the pencil there, choose Genius Room Sensor, add confirm. Now, there's no reason for me to add one to my bedroom one because actually I've realized thinking about this design, I probably ought to call this spare bedroom. Okay, my spare red bedroom upstairs, I'm not really going to know exactly when it's used. I just use it when I've got guests staying. So there's little point in me adding a room sensor because it's not going to learn when that room is being used. Okay, same with the ensuite, not much point in really deciding exactly when the, um, I'd rather decide exactly when the ensuite is used rather than letting the system decide. You can see that's my full design there. I've got my Genius Hub. I've got two smart plugs, which is what the uh, Creator System has decided that I need for my home. Okay, and then I've got my main components here on the left. So I've got my hot water timer temperature add-on to control my hot water tank. My Genius Hub, as I said, I've got six radiators, two smart plugs, and one dual channel receiver to control my two zone valves. So if I'm happy with that design, I've got enough for what I want to do now, I can click on save. If I choose save here, it allows me now to put in my name and my email address and my telephone number. I can then send this to myself as a quote. That's really useful, so you can then come back to this later. Cancel that, if I want to place the order, then I can just click on shopping cart here. What this does is put the entire design into my shopping cart. I can then check that I've got the right number of components there. And then I can then choose to email myself a quote again if I want to, or go down to the bottom and proceed to check out. One of the things that not many people realize is as soon as I send myself a quotation, this gives Genius Hub the opportunity to be able to help you. So if you save your quotation or you email yourself a quotation either, then if you want to, phone up Genius Hub, one of the technical support team will be able to look at your design with you and make sure that you've got just what you need and answer any questions you've got.